Hey love, so this video is all about Sensational. This is their Kiara wig, which is a Afrocentric wig. It is a lace edge wig, so you do see there's a little bit of lace around the perimeter along with some combs and adjustable strap. I'm going to be using my Cream of Nature mousse, which I absolutely love. This is like one of the best mousse on the market. It has like this great scent. So for this actual wig, I'm going to kind of like pick it out and pull out some of these kinky curls with my cream of nature mousse and just to kind of style it and get it to flatter my own facial features so i did get this from sisterwigs.com in a color f1b30 which you do see a little bit of the 30 on this and so yeah this is a lot of work but at the end i do think that it's worth it all right you guys so finally I finished unpicking Kiara. I will tell you this, she looks a lot fuller on the actual model. Um, not one of my favorite styles from Sensational. You guys know how I feel about them. I'm all about Team Sensational, but I have been let down a, a couple, quite a few times. So, with this one, I wanted to try another Afro wig out. It's the style, it's the trend, you know what I mean? So, I wanted to just give another one a try in a more natural color. Kiara's in a 1B30, and with the last unit that I did, which was a blue one, I decided, in a different brand, I decided this time to twist it on the opposite side. So, I do have some twists going here, and I did use my favorite topic hair filler fibers um keratin hair filler fibers just to darken my edges and i was asked to do a full detailed video of that coverage so i will be doing that soon but she seems a little bit more lengthier from the actual picture i don't know if it's just me but i put her on the side because i didn't want all the hair in my face she is really kinky like she does look just like real african-american afro hair I wanted her though a little bit more lengthier because I just wanted to feel like I had a lot going on for some reason, especially in like this natural style, okay? But yeah, not one of my faves. I'm not really sure how you guys are feeling her. Sister Wigs, though, sisterwigs.com, they do sell like loads of different other style brands which are catered to like that African American texture look as well as an Afro look. So if you guys are going for that Afro look, then take a look on their website. There's different brands. I do believe there's a human hair one, but you really won't need a human hair one with this one because I swear you guys, it looks just like a human hair one. There is a little bit of 30 in it, and I did have to use my Cream of Nature mousse, the styling mousse, to loosen the curl. So if you, once you get her, you do need to pick the heck out of her. I started using my wide tooth comb because I didn't have a pick, but this helped a lot because she was so packaged and so drawn in that you will need to take your time and pick her out. I would say get yourself one of those picks with the fist on the ends. Well, this have to be the fist on the ends, but I just remember those as a kid. And pick her out but slowly and just use some type of mousse or water or some type of saturation don't saturate her but just dampen her enough to where the curls will unlock and you'll be able to pick her out but I do know yeah. that if you take the hair put some rods some perm rods and dip it in some hot water you have a totally different style so I might just give that a try on one of my board days because sometimes I don't have much to do and I will give it a try and if I decide to try that out I will make sure to show a video of it you can put heat to this but I'm not really sure if you would want to because trust me you guys this is a lot of hair to put heat to and it's probably not going to be in your best interest to put heat to this also there is the combs and it's a lace wig edge so I'm not really sure why they call it a lace wig edge because, well I do know, but there's no way to part it. But I guess the good portion about it is if you wanted to pull your hair back, then you can do so. You know what I'm saying? If you guys enjoyed the video, I just wanted to try something out different. I figured if I gave the blue afro a try, let me try it in a more natural color to see exactly what I would look like with um, kinky hair. But for the most, I would really want it a little bit longer in the back area because then my, my nape area wouldn't feel so left out. But yeah. I post all the information for sisterwigs.com. And if you want 10% off of your purchase, make sure you use code MUFFIN at time of checkout. So I'll see you guys soon on my next video. And make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay diva and divalicious.